Hello my friends, it's Danny and Jax and today we're going to be making homemade ice cream. That's right and thanks to our friends at KiwiCo we are excited to work on the science of cooking ice cream crate. KiwiCo creates super cool hands-on projects designed to expose kids to concepts in STEAM which is science, technology, engineering, art and math. They are a great resource for learning at home and their science of cooking crates focus on the joy of preparing and sharing delicious meals with your family so they are just perfect for our clean and delicious kitchen. Unlock the science of cooking and help kids gain confidence in the kitchen with family-friendly kid-tested recipes and hands-on STEAM experimentation. It tastes so good. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we've got here. Well, on the front, it looks like what we're going to be making. And then if you spin it over to the back, these are all the tools and items that we're going to use to make it. Ooh, so let's check it out. All right. Okay, so we've got the Science of Cooking Ice Cream book, and this is full of recipes and tricks and tips and everything we need to know to make our ice cream. And then we have a little lab notebook, so we can take notes as we go, and we can also put our grocery list on here. Okay, so let's see what else we have in here. We have a large can. A large measuring cup and a small measuring cup. Yep, and then we have this clear jar full of other tools. So it looks like we have an ice cream scoop, a towel, and two small cans. And do you know what this is? Yeah, it's like a miniature whisk. Yep, that's a whisk. Okay, so now we have one more very important decision to make. What type of ice cream should we make? Mm, can we do vanilla? Actually, no, no, no. Can we do cookies and cream? Perfect. Let's do the vanilla ice cream base, and we'll stir in some cookies so that we make cookies and cream. Sounds delicious. Let's do it. Okay, so here's what we need. We need sugar, whole milk, heavy cream, vanilla extract, ice, rock salt. And the cookies. Don't forget the cookies. That's right. And the cookies, which we're going to cut up into nice little bite-sized pieces. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is measure a half a cup of sugar into the large measuring cup. And Jax, tell me, why are you getting nice and low like that? Because when I'm eye level with it, it helps me see when the sugar reaches half a cup. Perfect. Once you hit a half a cup, we're going to get that into our large can. Then we need to measure out one cup of whole milk. And then get that into the can as well. Next up, we have one cup of heavy cream, which we're also going to pour into the can. And then finally, we're going to measure out one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and you guessed it, Pour it into the can too. Okay, now we need to whisk this for five minutes. So Jack's going to whisk it and I'm going to set the timer. Oh wow, I really feel all the sugar is set out the bottom. Yep, that's probably part of the reason why we need to do this whisking. Teamwork? Makes the dream work. Alright, so it's been five minutes and here's what we noticed changed a little bit. Well, the sugar has completely dissolved and it feels really smooth. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop the lid on and it says that you want to make sure that the lid is nice and tight so that nothing spills out. So let's just do a quick check. I'm just going to shake it. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take that large clear jar and we're going to place our can right into the center of it and fill it halfway with ice so that the ice is surrounding our ice cream can. We're going to sprinkle in a cup of rock salt and then fill the rest of the jar with more ice. Okay mom, now have to screw the lid on and roll the jar back and forth for 15 minutes. We noticed as we were rolling the jar that it got super cold. So to protect our hands, we used the blue towel that was included in the signs of cooking crate. And also, as the ice began to melt down, we took the lid off, added more ice back up to the top, and then kept rolling. This is going to ensure that the ice cream stays nice and cold. Okay, after 15 minutes, we're going to open the clear jar and take out the can. And then using a paper towel, I'm going to wipe it dry. Now is for the first reveal. We're going to open up the can. Oh, look at Jax's face. That's good. Ooh, look at the way it formed like a little bit of a hard top. You can see the ice cream is starting to form up. This is so good. So we're going to take a nice long spoon and we're just going to start to scrape the side of the ice cream off the sides and the bottom of the can. That's where it gets the coldest, so that's where the ice cream starts to form. So we're just kind of moving it all around. How good does this look? It looks so good. We're going to screw the lid back on nice and tight. Pop the can back into the ice in the clear jar, and then we're going to add more ice to fill the jar up. 
screw the lid back on, and we are going to roll it back and forth for another 15 minutes. Uh, Jax and I took turns rolling the jar. And we also rolled it back and forth to add more fun to it. Okay, so after the second 15 minutes, we're gonna take the can out again. Try it with paper towels again. And then it's time for the big reveal. So let's screw off the lid. Oh, and as you can see, the ice cream has really started to form. Mm. I'm so excited. You can see that it's really thickened up, and I would say this is about the texture of a really good soft serve ice cream, which is exactly what the booklet says we're looking for. <laughs> so good. But we are making cookies and cream. So we're going to transfer this vanilla ice cream into a bowl, add our chopped up cookies, gently fold that all together, and then we'll transfer it back into the jar. Now we could eat it right now, but we're going to pop it in the freezer so we can clean up a bit, and then we're going to come back and enjoy. I really love the science of cooking crates because not only do we get to learn something new, make something delicious, sprinkle in a little bit of science, but we get to have some great quality time together and have some fun. Plus, all the recipes are kid tested, which makes me feel a lot more confident in the kitchen. This was really such a fun activity, would you agree? Yes, I had a really great time. Yeah, me too, and I would recommend it to anybody with children, or mm. even if you wanted to gift it to somebody with oh children. <laughs> it's so good. So good. It's so creamy. I love the cookies that we had. That was a great idea. Yes, it was. <laughs> and if this is something you're thinking about, be sure to check out their special offer. I have a link for you down in the description box below. You're just going to visit www.kiwico.com backslash delicious to get 50% off your first month of any KiwiCo subscription. So be sure to check that out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees. And I'm Jack Spees. And we'll see, see you, you next, next time with, with some, some more clean, clean and deliciousness. deliciousness. Cheers. Okay, mom, now we have to screw the lid on and... Okay, <coughs> voice crack. Okay, mom, now we have to... Okay, Mom, now you have to screw the lid on and move the jar. Okay, Mom, now you have to screw the lid on and roll the jar back and forth for 15 minutes.